Dimitri Elevato! Young lady. Here, let me help you with that. Oh, go on then. Tear Have you seen the cell. video of the laughing baby that like laughs so crazy whenever they rip paper? No, but it's that's so the kind funny. of audience I need. Oh, no, no, no. You have to look it up. It's so funny. It's one of those the YouTube things where a baby yeah, yeah, just yeah. laughs? I don't know. Now, that freaks me out. <laughs> I had to, when my youngest son was very young, he used to growl, which freaked us out. So we had to look up, we had to Google growling babies to make sure other people did it. No, my little sister growled. Really? I think it's something, and then, well, she like casted a spell on us, but that's a whole different story. <laughs> She's like, <coughs> we were like, what is really? going on? She did that? Yeah, it was really crazy. What age crazy. is she now? Huh? What age is she now? She's 11, going on 17. Oh, yeah, no, that's uh, very different. Yeah, uh, but she's Hey, really I like your mature. jacket. Thanks. It's very uh, sort of rock and roll and sort of bullfightery as well. Yeah, it's It's cool. nice. It has a certain... I like this show. It's comfortable. I feel like I'm going to take my shoes <clears throat> yeah, off. Yeah, no, you can. Nobody gives a rat's ass around here. You're amongst <laughs> Really, Amazing. you can relax. It's not a big thing. We've got the fire roaring you have in the grate. Yeah. The what's up? Hey, yeah. what's up, girl? How are you? <laughs> got a reindeer. Yeah, it's a, it's a horse, so, actually. Oh, yeah. horse. Well, he's wearing antlers, so it's like it looks. Yeah, like I know. It's an easy mistake to make because he's so not really anything. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but he's cold too. Is, is it cold here for you? It is. It's, it's really freezing. cold. Yeah, your hair's gone blue. Yeah, no, that's yeah. It's, it's, it, what hap it's what happens when people get cold. Do you do you dye your hair a lot? I actually, I do, I change my hair color all the time, but with the blue, I actually have to like touch it up every time I wash my hair. Really? So I actually do it myself. <laughs> really? Yeah. Sometimes. I dye my own hair too. Really? <laughs> So you gave yourself white highlights? Yeah, yeah. No, That's you, really good. You know what? I was thinking of doing a just... Ooh. Simon has the same thing. <laughs> no, I was thinking of doing a... I want a just for men beard. You know whether you get a, a beard? Oh, you probably don't look at just for men. Right, I have right. a hard time growing mine. Um, but no, I, do, I want a really dark beard. Oh. Do, wouldn't that be great? That'd be pretty cool. And then okay. you shave your head and look badass. Why did you ruin it for me? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you'll still look better. <laughs> so I, tell me. Way, oh, yeah, have... yeah. No, I was looking at this. Oh, this I was talking your... about the mug. Oh, really? I was looking at but this. But yeah, I, I wrote a book, too. This is your book. Did you get nominated for a Grammy for this? No, you can just <coughs> okay. it in my face. You actually have more Grammy nominations than I do. Shut up. <laughs> yes. Have you never been nominated for a Grammy? <laughs> But that's oh, awesome. Really? <laughs> <coughs> really, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. odd in some way. Well, um, I always look at my work and I'm like, okay, I can always do better. So maybe next album, whatever. Um, just before I die, sometime. No, you, you, I think you'll be all right. There's plenty oh, of time. What are you like? I think you're going to be all right, too. No, no, I, I'm fine. <laughs> I like. I was looking at this book today. I will talk about the X Factor, but I was looking. You you put a, together a, a it's a year a daily meditation or something like yeah. that. Is that what it is? Three hundred and sixty five days of um, quotes, um, passages like my thoughts on it, how we can relate, um, and then a goal for the day and intention just to start your day off right. Like it's not it's not a sit down and read in, in one moment kind of book. Um, you, you read it every day. It's like a, a like a tweet every day. Yes, yeah, well, like, like a little bit longer than a it's tweet. It's like a twit longer, you know. A like, like a tweet longer, longer in papery form. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> I get it. Yeah, no, it's like, do you meditate? Um, this is kind of my form of meditation. Sometimes when I'm like really stressed, I'll just sit up straight. And I used to do kundalini. Um, kundalini yoga. Mantras, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Was that with, like you hold one pose for a, yo a long time? Well, kind of. I mean, I just knew the mantras and I just kind of did whatever my, um, my mentor Oh. Taught me. Um, Are you in therapy? I could give you some therapy now. I've got yes. a pipe. Look at that. Oh, let's do it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Um, but no, so I'm you feel about the mug. I have the same one. Well, not the same one, but I have one just like it. And actually, mine's cooler because the snake. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Hold on up a little bit, Missy. <laughs> Two things. Nobody's mug is cooler than my mug. My mug's got a gold tooth. Okay, that's pretty dope. Also, this is from Albuquerque, like you. Yes, I was born there. You I did know. your research. Yeah, sorta. Sorta. I thought you didn't give a rat's ass. 
I don't, but I like you. Ah, thanks. Well, I do think you give a very positive message to young people. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you seem very serious about that, and I like that. Yeah, I mean, I've done, I've done the whole partying thing, I've done the whole rehab thing, um, and it's just, I'm... You've done rehab already? <laughs> yes. Good for you. <laughs> I wish I'd done rehab. I didn't go into rehab till I was 29, in 1992. I was 18, so I had to start early. Wait a minute, have I... So I've been sober longer than you've been alive? <laughs> Yes, you said that, not me. Wow. <laughs> I think it's time for Just for Men then, isn't it? <laughs> That's good. Do you think because you were so successful so young that drives you into, the, into, into partying or does that drive you into recovery? Does it help, you think? I've always been a really motivated, driven, like, fighter. So it's kind of like when, when I first got sober, I was like, oh, I'm going to show all of you. You think I can't get sober? Well, watch me. Yeah. And then now I've stuck to it because it's made my life so much better. And, and I, there's a lot of young people that look up to me. And I just, there needs to be someone that stands out and says it's not about, you know, Molly and partying and all that stuff. Right. You know. <laughs> like, that was like one guy who's not a model and has never been to a party. Don't no, it, hate. It, it, don't hate. No, I'm not hating. I don't hate on it. No, no, I'm like, what's up? No, it's fine. Who was it? No, don't look. Please, okay, let's not. Mind. No, 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 don't. Okay. They get they get weird, especially when they're cold. <laughs> especially when they're cold. Yeah, they get they get surly. Do you ever do you ever lose your patience? Because people, I think, feel very connected to you. Young people feel very connected to you, and they a lot of times perhaps feel they have a right to your attention at any point they want it. Do you ever yeah. feel uh, like leave me alone? Have you ever lost your temper with it? I I don't think I've lost my temper. I think what happens is I actually get anxiety attacks. Right. So um, like at meet and greet, sometimes if people like run up to hug me, I like shut down because it's like really... Um... That's what it's like being Scottish. Oh, I'm Irish. Oh, yes, really? Yes. Lovato? I didn't know. No, 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 no that's, uh... that's from... Okay, so I'm, I'm a lot of things. My ancestors got around. So okay. I am Irish. I am Native American. Right. I am um, so many things. Portuguese. Uh, uh, Portuguese. Hispanic. Right. And I found out recently that I'm a little Jewish. I, I think. So I ended up in the right town. <laughs> uh, don't say any of that to him, because he's a racist. What? Yeah. He's we'll not, chat later. He, he's not really, but it's just, it's the worst thing I can think to call someone. <laughs> but he might be. I don't know. I don't talk to him much. Well, maybe that's why he's a... Uh-oh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're right. We'll be right back with Debbie Lovato. <laughs> Demetria Lovato is Demetria, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like that name. It's very pleasant. Thanks. Right. I like Craig. Really, I think it sounds a bit like a duck sometimes. <laughs> it sounds okay if you're Scottish, then you go, Craig. But if you're from America, you just go, Quack. <laughs> not really. Yeah, yeah, they go, who's that guy? Oh, it's that guy, Quack. <laughs> I have, I've never heard that, but... Really? Yeah. Have you got tattoos on your fingers? I have tattoos everywhere. Oh, me too. I've got... Oh, okay, whoa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Easy. Really? I have um, rock and roll. On your on my, finger? On my middle finger. Middle finger? Yeah, yeah that's classy. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on the same hand, I have a cross. Um, I have, I just recently got this um, little guy. It's still healing. It's um, just three, the Roman numeral three. Um, my, it means a lot to me because um, my dad, it was like his number. He was obsessed with Dale Earnhardt. And um, yeah, and he, he not to bring like it down, but he passed away this summer. So I want to do something positive and. It's when I got my first tattoo it was when my father died. Wow. Now I've got five of them. Yeah. Because I... my dad hated tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was. It felt right. It oh was... my god. No, my dad always said. I, so when he was when he, I got this tattoo of the family crest after he died because I thought the Celtic paradox. You get a tattoo to remember a guy who hated tattoos. <laughs> 
I guess it, I guess it, it would. It makes more sense to my, me. My stepdad and my mom hate tattoos. Um, I say stepdad really loosely because he's he's raised me my whole life. He's amazing. Right. Um, but they hate, hate tattoos, so um, I kind of, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, I, well, I don't know. I mean, I think, you know, people always say, oh, the tattoo, that'll look terrible when you're like 80. Yeah, and I'm like, no. yeah, and so will I, yeah, you know. Exactly. <laughs> oh, there's that, there's that. And then you're like, I'm gonna look 80 and really Ay, cool. I'm sorry. I'd... Did you swear there? Yes, sir. That's okay, do it again. You, I can say that? I you just can. Like, not only am I gonna be 80 with tattoos, I'm gonna look really Ay, cool. Right. So I, much cooler than you. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Oh, you mean people without tattoos? I yeah, don't know. Yeah, Everybody's got tattoos grandma. now. I mean, it's Badass Grandpa. It's That's who I want to be. We should really call and rename the show Badass Grandpa. I'm down. Yeah, it's good. I'm down. All right, we're out of time. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. a bummer. Well, you can hang out if you want. Well, I'll hang out. Maybe it's cold, so maybe not. Yeah. Like that throwback? <laughs> <laughs> Did you just do finger pistols at me, young lady? I didn't do the camera. Because let me tell you, I approve of you, but don't you go finger pistoling your way around here. That's what he said. Hey, now. All right. Debbie Lovato, everybody. We'll be right back.